And today we're going to open Noria. Just came in, just took the drink off, and gonna check it out. It's really freaking cool. I'm gonna pretend it's steampunk. I don't actually know if that's what it's supposed to be, but there's islands in the sky and these cool wind things that are flying around to them. And this medallion looks a little bit steampunky, so that's what I'm gonna roll with. I'm not the expert. I just unbox and play games, that's all. Well, and teach people how to play them, but you know what, that doesn't actually mean I have to understand the mechanics and that type of thing, so whatever. We're gonna check it out. <laughs> the box farts. So, discovered this game because now I'm kind of addicted to Instagram and Twitter and Game Envy. It's real. There is this really neat mechanic with this game. These plastic components aren't really doing it justice, but there's these thingamajiggies that go on top of it to layer up yeah, the details on it. We'll get to that. Jumping ahead. Bag of bags. Cannot go wrong with a bag of bags because organization, super, super critical. And are more components that already come in bags. Maybe player color tokens? I honestly don't know enough about this game. I just knew that I liked the turnstile mechanic that the, the other cubes, the disc things work with. Some gray cubes, wooden cubes. I'm not certain what's going on with that. And the rule book. Okay, so right off the bat, kind of interesting. The island, oh, it isn't upside down. And it looks like almost it was upside down because if you, know, if you flip it over like this, it looks more like a mountain. But it's more like an upside down iceberg. I don't know. Technical terms and such. Very hefty. Lots of pages. 16 pages of rules. Lots of pictures though. Good weight to it. Some good stuff. I have to read through this and get back to you guys on that. I do like how they've got the little insects to try and help guide you on what you're looking at. That's good. But a whole lot of rules. And <laughs> if you don't feel like reading the rules, you can go watch the video on the website. Always good. All sorts of things to punch. I have no idea what any of this does but it looks like we have different trees and cloud stuff, some city stuff, hammers, always cool. Super excited, I'm gonna have a lot of fun punching later today. And then there is the cardboard bundle. That's nifty, it's got its own little proper handle. Very nice, can't go wrong. If, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have so much fun punching all of this. Do you think punching videos are a thing? Cause they should be. Let's just punch all of the things. It's probably like an ASMR thing. And it's very therapeutic and stuff. It's way more fun to punch it than it is to actually watch it, in my opinion. But it's each their own. Okay, so, oh, look at this. I don't know what these are. Maybe they're player cards or round overview cards. This is neat. Different islands. Looks like you put some green chips here and red ones there. And then it probably does something. This is maybe like a converter or engine or something. Really should have read up on this game and not just bought it just for the cool bits. But they're cool. Oh, look at this. It's got coal and trees. Def I'm definitely going to call it steampunk because check out this out with the different wheels, components. Very neat. Let's go close up on the islands. Look at that. So neat. What else we got? Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so cool. You gotta be able to stair step, maybe, in order to get the things going. Different red ships, green ships, black ships. Huh. Different sails. Looks like you can probably add in sails and maybe a fan or something onto your ship. I don't know. Seriously, should have read a bit more about the game. Huh. It's a cool wouldn't quite cut. More of those, and I bet I'm gonna punch everything accidentally and lose all the pieces. Don't worry, my cats will help me pick up or lose things one way or another. Okay, so more of the same. Nothing really new on this. Maybe the lantern is new. I wonder what that's gonna be for. Some more bits. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> Check that out. 
like a probably a spark plug or something. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Seriously losing all of the bits. Never start punching things. That's that is the moral of this story. Okay, so this thing, these are the coal contraptions that go onto the different token boards somehow. Let's see if we can figure this out. So each player is going to get one of these plasticky things. And this stuff should fit in like so. Okay, so this one probably goes on the bottom. Let's see if we can make this work. I love puzzles. Let's see if I can break the puzzle on, on video. Okay, so yeah. So that, and then that. Okay, so on your turn, you're gonna get, you're each gonna have one of these things and you get to put tokens in here and you line up and pick your, the actions that you're gonna do on any given turn based on where these things are. So this will spin each turn so far. So this one's gonna come around a lot. This one's gonna be a very slow turn because each one's just turned once. And so you'll have minimal opportunity to use the ones on the bottom, but lots of opportunity to use the ones on the top. And then the turns, you'll just pick one of the three that kind of line up. Not exactly certain how that's going to work, but that's why they give you rule books. And theoretically, this is not needed, but cat toy. Something like that. I don't know, some cool buildings. And this. I bet this goes around your player board. That cool turning mechanic thing. This probably is going to then be too much stuff. Let's take this out of the picture for a minute. So, theoretically, we end up like this. So you get your cold mechanic like that, and then you do this thing, and then this thing. Nope, not that thing. That's the trash thing. And then that thing. Boom! Betcha this talks about your turn order as far as what your actions are. Cool. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm very pleased with this. Very pleased. Some more trash. Let's get the box back and focus. Pretend that I'm doing an unboxing, right? Um, some more of these things, because you know it's a four-player game, so we gotta have one for each. Yellow things. I bet these are like player tokens. So probably yellow, white, and red. That would line up with the different peg things, and those are building tokens to go along with it. Cool. And then this is the main board. Hmm. Cheat. Okay. So. Whoa. There's no way to get this all in frame. But. So these are the different tracks you can climb up. Remember that. There's, this is some sort of a scoring mechanic here. Where you can collect the, the black ones, I guess. The pink and green ones. Something to do over here. Collect the things to go up the track. I have no idea what this does, but it looks really freaking cool. Get it on to the bottom portion of the board. It's a little bit more like stair steppy and climbing through the caverns. All right. So, yeah, no idea how to play it yet, but it looks freaking cool, especially this fancy little turnstile thing. Check that out. So cool. So, yeah, I'll be reading up on the rules and then video coming soon. Hopefully without any missing pieces, I'm sure my cats will definitely help me out and find all of the little bits and bobs I dropped. All right, you guys, have a good one.